It sounds like something out of a science fiction comedy. A car powered not by gasoline or electricity, but by coffee. Yet it's absolutely true. In 2010, a group of British engineers unveiled the Car Puccino, a modified 1988 Volkswagen Sirocco that ran entirely on coffee grounds. The project was created by a team led by Martin Bacon for the BBC's Bang Goes the Theory, aiming to show how alternative fuels can come from the most unexpected sources. The science behind it is surprisingly logical. Coffee, like wood or coal, contains carbon-based compounds that can be converted into energy through a process called gasification. In the Car Puccino, the team built a system that heated coffee grounds in a high-temperature chamber, releasing carbon monoxide and hydrogen gases. Those gases were then filtered and directed into the engine, where they ignited and powered the car, essentially turning caffeine into combustion. The result was a functioning, roadworthy vehicle that could travel about 60 miles per 56 cups of coffee. However, it wasn't exactly practical for your morning commute. The car required constant cleaning of tar buildup and frequent refueling, and it could only reach speeds of around 60 miles per hour. Still, it was a remarkable demonstration of ingenuity and eco-conscious creativity, proving that even waste materials can be transformed into usable energy. The Car Puccino wasn't built to replace traditional engines, but to inspire people to rethink what fuel means. In a world searching for sustainable energy solutions, the idea of running on recycled coffee beans was both absurd and visionary, a perfect blend of science and humor. It may never replace your gas tank, but the next time you sip your latte, remember, your caffeine fix could one day power more than just your morning mood.